You know, I love playing video games. It's always such a good time. But I'm just left scratching my head, wondering how can I make the experience so much more convoluted and miserable? Because, you know, my current existence just isn't pathetic enough. Introducing the PS1 Glove Controller. lot of interesting video game peripherals out there, marketing to some incredibly weird concepts of immersion. Mimic the motions of real life. Put yourself in the game, like it's bloody Spy Kids 3D, and have the power of video games at your very fingertips. Yeah, because the standard controller doesn't do that at all. The wounds were still fresh from Mattel's NES Power Glove experiment when Reality Quest, whoever they are, released their glove controllers in 1998. They had one for Sony's PlayStation and another for the Nintendo 64. The N64 glove is a lot harder to come by these days, probably because people were still so burned after the first Nintendo glove that they decided to go around burning all of these things in a fire. But today, we'll be taking a look at the PS1 Power Glove. Uh, the term glove is definitely up for debate, but we won't let that stop us. To put it on, you place your hand over this main piece, slide your thumb into position, then simply strap in and strap on. Words cannot describe how it feels to have the power at your fingertips. Probably because I can't feel my fingertips! As you may have noticed, I crashed my bike earlier today and broke my wrist, so now I have to wear this protective brace. I mean, honestly, this looks like something you'd wear if you were involved in a serious accident. Or maybe, like a dog with a cone on its head, this is a device that prevents you from playing with your dick all day long. Yeah. Or in other words, a torture device. Well, joke's on you, Mum, because I've still got my left hand free to do whatever I want. Much like the NES Power Glove, there were no left-handed models released, so all you lefties out there, consider yourselves lucky. Now before we get started on some games, let's take a look at how this glove operates. Since I don't have any physical instructions, we'll have to watch the tutorial video with these two clowns. It also features the super whack 90s gamer crew dancing around with their gloves like absolute mad lads. I don't know what game they're supposed to be playing, this isn't a motion controller. Moving your hand around controls the D-pad, but you still need to press all of the other buttons with your fingers. The face buttons along with L1 and R1 are at the top here, while all of the shoulder buttons can be found on the thumb. On the underneath side, we can also find a toggle switch for different modes, such as the standard mode, that's said to work with all of your games, the simulated analog control, which allows for finer movement when needed, and finally, the full analog control, which is the equivalent of using a steering wheel controller. So, why not just use a steering wheel controller? Already this thing just seems like a convoluted mess. If I still have to press the actual buttons, then why not just use an actual controller? I love the glove. Okay, no doubt, that guy is using his left hand to touch his dick. Alright, now that we're all set up, let's start off with a classic. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Alright, we're off. You know, it, it, it works surprisingly well. Um, it's really... <laughs> it's really strange to play. There's not really... Oh, fuck. Jack, do you really want to just get all the gems? Just leave it. <laughs> just give up, Jack. 
Oh, 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 got him. Okay, I think the sensitivity, we need to crank that up a bit. Just so that, you know, I can actually fucking do this. <laughs> Herp! This actually works. Like, I'm, you know, I'm surprised. It, it really... God, I'm not even to the end of this first level. My arm is already sore. It's really strange having the face buttons under your fingers like this. Like, there's something really unnatural about that. Right, well, we barely made it to the end of the level. <laughs> it's so far against my muscle memory for this game. <laughs> that it's just fucked. It's just a mess. On crash. Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting manhandled by this stage right now. Fuck, I keep, I cannot avoid that mine there. What the fuck? No, it's there every time and I hit it still. Fuck. God. Oh, fuck, he keeps walking into the left, into the right, sorry. He keeps going the wrong fucking way. Right. God. I can't keep him off that right wall when I'm running back. He's like wanting to stick to the... To the... To the walls! <laughs> well, aside from the wall hugging, this glove works surprisingly well with Crash. So, now that we're adjusted, let's try out some different games to see how this thing holds up under fire. Oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, let's see how we go with something a little more open, like Spyro the Dragon. Get the dragon. Get the dragon, Spyro. <laughs> Look at this. I wasn't expecting to have that much trouble collecting the dragons. Wow. With a bit of more open space, this is actually enjoyable. Like, this is good. I'm liking this. The It gives a lot more freedom. I'm doing lots of backs and forths with the left and right, but that's okay. It's just hard to, to get back to that center position where you're just going straight ahead. God, when he's not... When the character's not facing the right way, it's really difficult to try and get them going where you want them to go. All right, that 3D shit's starting to get on my nerves because it's just impossible to stay just straight centered while you're running. So let's move on to some 2D side-scrolling action with Rayman. Jesus, good luck doing this with the glove. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be like an act, like a really hard game? <laughs> and I'm here trying to play it with a fucking glove. Man, this game actually looks amazing. How have I never played any of the Rayman games before? That should be something we need to do. I can give you a new power. See that? She used her PS1 glove to Rayman with a new power. Oh god, they're everywhere! Help! Help! I need an adult! I need an adult! Oh god, there's another one. He's a little grabby one down low. God damn it, he's knocking me all over the place, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but fuck, my arm is already, like, sore from holding this thing up. It's not that heavy, but it's just holding your arm in this position and doing all the, all the movements. It just fucks with your arm, man. It doesn't seem to matter what game it is I'm playing, the glove is incredibly responsive to every action I make, but getting the position back to that middle center point where no inputs are being made is a lot easier said than done in the heat of gameplay. This translates to characters moving out of control or facing the wrong direction. You can adjust the sensitivity by pressing the special RQ button in combination with one of the lower face buttons and on the highest setting, you don't have to move as much, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference to be honest. Luckily with two-dimensional games like Symphony of the Night, we don't need the up and down as much, so it's a lot easier to deal with. Oosh, oosh. Oh shit, oosh. There we go. Oh god, now I've got a fucking... That's something I didn't consider about this game, is there's lots of menus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. Jesus, will you select the... Come on. We need to... <laughs> we need to... <laughs> there we go, we got... <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. How do we go back? 
There we go, right, we've got the... Jesus, right. Oh my god, what am I do? How the hell am I going to stand a chance against this first boss? Like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This just isn't going to happen. And it's going to really hurt to do. Oh, Jesus. Well, I got, I got first blood, but that's not going to help me. Run! Huh. Just take him out. Well, there goes my axes. I'm out of axes. <laughs> <laughs> Waste all my axes at the start. Jesus, I'm getting gang bitched by them. What are you doing, Alucard? <laughs> Fight back! Be a man, Alucard! <laughs> oh my god, I got slaughtered by these assholes. It's just totally unrealistic to try and make precise movements with this thing during any kind of intense gameplay. Which makes me wonder. How will the glove perform with a fighting game? They made a big point to show off fighting games in the preview, so let's see how this goes with some Mortal Kombat. Yeah, good fucking luck. I'll need a real wrist brace for a legit broken arm after this shit. Even if you know the correct inputs, it's just impossible to have any accuracy while trying to hit them. Oh, and of course, the game has to rub it in my face how much of a fucking loser I am. So, let's try some Tekken 3 instead. Oh, jeez. If this is going to be any easier than Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I've never been good at Tekken, ever. I can't, like, get a run up on him or anything like that. Oh, I got him! I actually won a round! What? Hurt! And hurt! Jump! Well, that'll do, I guess. We actually got a win, okay. The game's like, okay, we'll give you a win. Don't fret. Now we're gonna kick your ass. Watch this shit. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Oh! Big swinging roundhouse to the face, mate. Got ya. Oh, he tripped me. Back kick. Come on. Back kick. I got him again! Oh, Jesus. Missed. Missed! Get away! Holy shit, that was such a good win, man! I think the only reason I'm winning this fight, with all these fights, is because I'm just fluking the fuck out of the special moves. <laughs> just trying to get the character to move to one side of the screen, and I'm fluking all the perfect inputs. Look at that! <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't plan to do that, it just sort of happened. This is the best I've ever been at Tekken. <laughs> that was a good start. That was a good start. Come on. Come on. Hup, hip. That was good. That was good. Oh my god. Oh my god. A perfect victory. Holy shit. I can't even fucking get near her now. Oh my god. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Come on. Just, just keep spamming the same tricks. Come on, no! No, come on! No! <laughs> I want to win this so bad! God damn it! I got too cocky! I got too cocky! And I was excited and anxious as well. Moving on to another game that requires some knowledge of the various button inputs, one of my all-time favourites, Pro Skater 2. Even though it's a lot more difficult to correctly perform certain moves with the glove, I think the biggest positive I could make for this controller is that all of the advanced stuff is still possible. Let's see if we can't do some cool tricks. Oh. <laughs> but it would take a lot of practice to actually land anything consistently. Oh my god! <coughs> we actually landed it! Wow! Dude... Do a special trick, you useless fuck. Do a tr fucking special. There we go, 540 flip. <laughs> kickflip McTwist, come on. We need to do a kickflip McTwist, it's tradition. Oh, come on, we can do it. We can do it. We did it. Oh my fucking God, what a legend. 
think something's wrong with the controller. It's just totally broken all of a sudden. Look at this. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Go. Go. There we go. <laughs> He's figured it out. Well, if we're taking a look at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, that means we have to try out another Neversoft gem, Spider-Man 2000. Alright, I gotta kill the- I gotta kick this guy's ass. Are you ready for this shit? Web yank! Huh? <laughs> Come here, you bad thug. Got him. <laughs> this is really weird. This is what- this is definitely one of the weirder ones we've had today. Oh, I can't fucking see! Wait! Fuck off. I need to get up on the roof. There we go. Now we're playing as Spider-Man, baby. Huh? Got him. <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> this is great! It actually works, sort of. This is really good. <laughs> there we go. Got him. I really fucking... I'm, it's, it probably sounds like I'm being sarcastic and joking, but I'm not even kidding. Spider-Man with the glove is... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not great, and my arm is definitely sore, but it's pretty good. But yeah, I'm 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 honestly stunned at how well this is. This just fits. It just does. And because it's you know, it's our glove. It really is like what cha cha Spider-Man sort of shit. It's fucking cool. That's what this glove was made for, Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man and Tekken. <laughs> Those are the only two games. But of course, one of the other major selling points of the glove was for driving games. Grand Theft Auto 2 works well enough. Again, we're mostly using the left and right to turn without the need for up and down, which is definitely a problem for a lot of other games. So let's switch to the full analog control and try out one of my favourite racing games, Destruction Derby 2. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. This actually does... Already, this does feel pretty good. Total destruction. Whoa! Fuck. No! God damn it. And we're in last place. <laughs> Just like that. I can tell already though, compared to some of the other movement we've done today, this is just so much smoother and perfect for racing games like this. Of course, we already know from previous games that eliminating the use for up and down motion makes things a lot easier to deal with, but the full analog control mode for racing make it even better. Oh, what was that? Oh, hold up! Look at that! Holy shit, I probably couldn't fucking make a save like that with a controller, but I did it with the glove. This analog control, I, I can't, I honestly can't fucking fault it, it's really good. Oh, crash into the blue car! I missed! Fuck! <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> this is great, man. Honestly, this is really fun. I love it. Oh, look at this collision! Oh! There goes the front! Head on collision! <laughs> it's games like this that are the most enjoyable with the glove. The type of thing you'd play to turn your brain off. And for me, there is no better example of that than Crash Team Racing. Fittingly, not only does this game showcase all of the glove's weak points, but it's also the perfect demonstration of just what this controller can add to the experience. However, for starters, we can't actually play this game in the full analog mode as it changes the button layouts. But switching back to the default shows just how impractical this control scheme is for most games. It's really hard to get a grip on this thing and press any of the face buttons at the same time. So what this means is that you lose the stability required for any accurate movements. It is actually suggested to hold your arm in place to help fix this problem, but you're probably already doing that because your fucking arm is sore from grappling with the controller. But on the plus side, this does add challenge to a lot of games. 
for the wrong reasons, yes, it's hard to have any accuracy whatsoever, but I wouldn't say it's impossible. And I think that's what makes it fun. It's a handicap design to limit your abilities, but a handicap that could definitely be overcome if you were willing to commit the time to it. Overall, I do think the glove makes for a fun party trick at least, to whip out for a quick laugh. And maybe even if you enjoy an extreme challenge with your games, this could be what you're looking for. But, as far as motion control peripherals go, this is absolutely average at best. Not to mention, despite being advertised to work with every PS1 game, I couldn't get it to work with either of the SmackDown titles. It just didn't register as a controller. Same case for Metal Gear Solid, which is disappointing. None of these games require analog sticks, but of course, you wouldn't be playing Ape Escape with this thing either. I also quickly tried three PlayStation 2 games out of curiosity, SSX3, Burnout 3, and Ratchet and Clank 3. But of course, unsurprisingly, I didn't have any luck with those either. Strangely, much like the NES Power Glove, neither this or the Nintendo 64 variant had any games designed specifically for use with the peripheral, which is unfortunate. It could have a much better use, but on top of the already awkward control, playing normal games in such an abnormal way just isn't something I want any part of. Thankfully these days, the technology for true motion controls has reached a point of perfection with Nintendo's modern systems. But for me, I find the clunky, earlier efforts of these devices to be quite charming in retrospect. While the Reality Quest glove does work as intended, that doesn't mean it works well at all. As a controller, yes it functions, but it's totally impractical to use for a lot of games. However, despite its shortcomings, I'd still suggest that this can add to your gameplay experience. Well, for the first 15 minutes, until your wrist starts to hurt, and then you just have to give up. But until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I'm Square Eye Jack, and I hope you have a great fucking day. Thanks for watching.